Where have the workers gone? It's a question that politicians, economists, journalists all have been asking. Right now, the unemployment rate is low. People are quitting their jobs at record numbers. The time that it takes to fill an open position is the highest that it's been in decades. Employers are in a battle for talent with each other, and we've seen wage growth that's literally unprecedented. Uh, wages are going up, the number of jobs offering benefits is going up, the number of jobs offering flexible schedules or remote work is going up. It's really uh, like nothing we've seen before, at least over the last 10 years. That's the mm -hmm. question that many are asking about this worker shortage that's affecting everything. Yeah, everywhere you look, it seems like it's happening. And this morning, local force Nick Monticelli takes a look at the future and when, if ever, we can expect things to return to normal. It's a, a nationwide problem. It's a statewide problem. Uh, road agencies all across Michigan are having the same problem. I've been in this business for 40 years, and this is the worst it's ever been. But now you can say the roles have been reversed. Right. Many businesses are having trouble finding workers, and experts say there are several reasons why. News 4's Emily Akins explains. Unemployment is meant to be a temporary assistance to move you on to the next step. More than one million people quit their leisure and hospitality jobs in November with hundreds of thousands more quitting low-wage retail and health care jobs. There are still 10.6 million unfilled positions. No matter what industry you operate in, if your business requires people to run it, you've directly experienced the impact of these headlines that we've been seeing nationwide over this past year. My name is Abby Davis and I'm with the Spear School of Business at Oklahoma State University. On behalf of the Center for Executive and Professional Development, we want to invite you to our 2022 Workforce Summit on Wednesday, February 23rd. Like you, we've been working to keep up with the evolving conversations around the labor shortage, the great resignation, and the overall impact the pandemic has had on our workforce. We were also curious to see what exactly is going on in our state. So at the end of 2021, we conducted a study to better understand the evolving needs of our Oklahoma workforce, from barriers to getting a job like transportation and childcare, to reasons why full-time workers may be considering a career move. Join us to hear from representatives from the state of Oklahoma and a number of executives from a variety of industries on topics around hybrid work options, second chance employment, and culture. We'll also talk about the future of work and how emerging technologies like automation may be able to assist with some of our most pressing challenges. We'll also share with you exactly what we learned through the study we conducted on what the labor shortage and the great resignation may look like here in our state. This conference will be held in person at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City, but a virtual live stream option will be available as well. I hope to see you there.